Hi, my name is Dominic. I'm Wuke. And I'm Martin. Together we are second year students at the uh, University of Southern Denmark, um, here at the uh, Mass Institute. Um, and we study mechatronics. And here in our third semester, we have uh, gotten uh, these uh, actuators. Uh, and we uh, are supposed to uh, find an application for, for those. Um, what we have kind of come up with is a wind, wind turbine system, which um, we are uh, breaking down. So we are using uh, these uh, as uh, an emergency braking system for wind turbines. And the way it works? Yeah, we have a program here where we can set the RPM value when we want to brake. So that's basically the yeah, rotation out here which is caused by two high winds maybe, then wind speeds, then we have to break it. And we measure the RPM here with a sensor. It's an infrared sensor. So there's a hole through the axis. And every time the light gets through, then we have a half revolution. And yeah, then we get the signal here and can calculate it with the program to our RPM. And yeah, then we set the RPM. Now it's on 175. Then we start the um, yeah, start the program, and now it reaches 175 and breaks. And yeah, now it's fixed here. Then the actuators have to cool down. That takes some seconds, and then we can start it again. I will set it to the maximum now that it's 260 rpm. And yeah, now we can start again. That takes a bit time to get up to this 260 RPM. We are slowly increasing the motor speed here. And we are 240. Here we have the free wheel. So when the motor stops, then it won't affect the rotation out there. And now it breaks again. And the brake system itself is like a typical brake system from, from car or scooter or whatever. It's just based on a mechanical brake, which breaks with friction between two types of material. So with our concept, we have proven that we can use these actuators to break something. Yes. As in conclusion.